just got back from the storage unit. Today was part one of moving. So I just moved everything that was in my current storage unit to the bigger one that I got today. And tomorrow the movers are coming at 9 a.m. and they're gonna move all of this stuff out of my studio apartment and I am so excited to go to Texas. TV is going, everything over here is going, bed is going, desk is going. All of this will be going to storage. And then just this little baby corner right here and everything that's in the hallway is coming with me to Texas. All I have left to do is just pack up the kitchen. I have a few more dishes to do and pack up the Tupperware into a small box. And then we're done. Once the movers are here, I can finally relax and take a breath. It has been so stressful trying to come up with a mover, a storage unit, packing everything. I literally just had surgery like three weeks ago. I'm not supposed to be lifting anything heavy. And here I am packing up my entire life. But we got it done. And I'm so excited. Movers are coming tomorrow. I can't wait, guys. Does anyone else feel really weird when you realize that your entire existence can just fit into a bunch of boxes? Like I have just been dwindled down to a few boxes and that's me. All that I am is just sitting right here next to me. It's so weird. <laughs> and it's all gonna be sitting in storage for about four, five months until I come back to LA. And if my sister's watching this, she's gonna be so mad at me when she finds out. Like, I swear I'm gonna get a call in the middle of the night tonight. But she thinks that I'm staying in a hotel. She keeps insisting it, like she's gonna check my location and everything. But I'm actually not staying in a hotel. I am just gonna sleep in the front seat because my car is literally packed. And I'm just gonna try and find a clean, quiet rest stop. My plan actually is that I slept in. Like I went to bed really early, slept in super late. So I'm gonna drive throughout the night. And then once the sun comes up tomorrow morning, that's when I'm gonna go to sleep. I think I'd rather sleep during the daytime just so that like no weird person is creeping up on me in the middle of the night when it's pitch black and I can't see anything, you know? All right, so this is the front seat. My backpack, this is kind of all my essentials and then all of my food items I just showed you is in this bag here. And we've got my water. So if I take this backpack out, I have prints right here. Say hi. We have prints. Guys, I found this thing. It like pops out like this. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. It's kind of hard but it pops out and it's like three sections. So if I wanna give him like, this is probably for dog food, honestly. But if I take it down one section like this, then this is perfect for water and for a food bowl. And I just have two foods right here for prints, one for tonight, sorry for the glare, one for tonight and then one for in the morning. I love this. I found this at the grocery store for like $7 and this is the best thing to ever be invented when you're traveling with pets. And then the hard part, I have nowhere else to put this because my, my car is so freaking full. So in the front seat is the freaking litter box. And I have the pooper scooper right here, just like underneath. And yeah, my car is not gonna smell very good, especially since I'm gonna be sleeping right there. But that is the plan, guys. Actually, let's go ahead and take him out because I'm about to head on the road right now. He's been in this little box for two hours straight. And when he got in the car, the car was empty. So let's see his first reactions. Come on out. Prince, you wanna see what's, what the car looks like? Prince, you wanna see what the car looks like? Come on out, baby. He's like, uh, where do I even go? What's going on? What is all this? Here, let me turn him this way because maybe he thinks that he's about to jump outside. Now he can like walk. There he goes. He's like, what's happening? I don't know where you're sleeping tonight, Prince, but 
all we have is the front seat so if you want to walk around feel free to do so but the car is pretty dang full right now sorry about it if you need your litter box you know where it is boo boo maybe he'll get more comfortable as i start driving but yeah i'm about to head on the road right now so i will let you know when we get to the next state all right we'll share enough of the movie let's get on the road Every time there's something good happens in my life, you're always there for me. Let me explain the way your blood has got me feeling. I'm wanting to throw it away. Wish that they could see the underneath. I'm just an ordinary girl. Let me show you what it is. I was birthed outside, but was raised at the bottom. you enjoyed a little glimpse of my soundtrack another thing that i'm listening to is this deaf comedy jam it's a radio station on pandora my sister road tripped with me like two years ago to phoenix arizona and it's one of my favorite stations i listen to it all the time one thing about me is i love me a good comedy show i'd rather go to a show than a club any friday night you should definitely check it out it's one of my favorite stations on pandora ever it's daylight savings and it's pitch black at 5 p.m don't watch my channel like that because she's gonna be mad as heck at me right now she's gonna be so pissed when she finds out that i slept in a hotel but actually not in a hotel because she was on me like this whole time she's like i'm gonna be watching your location i need to make sure that you're okay make sure that you find a safe hotel one that has a lot of people all this stuff little does she know i'm just trying to save money okay so i slept in the parking lot and i'm not ashamed about it i just saved me what like 150 dollars Plus a deposit, no, we can save all that money and put it towards something else. I am moving to a new state after all, so I wanna make sure that I have money. I gotta buy food, groceries, a bed, all this stuff. But anyway, I'm in Tucson right now and I think it's like three more hours to get to El Paso. So I will let you know the next update when we get there. Can you move out of my spot, please? Thank you. I can get into Mexico.
22 hours in. So I'm just following the map right on GPS and all of a sudden there's this cutoff where like the road is leading you to somewhere else, all these orange cones. So I'm just like following the detour. Next thing I know, I met this immigration place where it's like, tengo sus documentos listos, keep your documents ready, please have them out, is what it translates to. And there's this sign, it's like canine on duty. Like, where am I? Am I like, I don't know where I am. Like, where am I going? I swear I'm just following the GPS. It's like a stop and go thing. So I have two cars ahead of me. I don't know if I have to give them my ID. I definitely don't have a passport. Okay, real quick, since I'm driving off, he just asked me one question. He wanted to know if I was a US citizen. I said yes, and then he let me go. I think it was just to try and weed out the bad people or something, I don't know. But he said, I'm still in Texas, everything's fine. So at least I didn't do anything wrong, that's good. Cause my sister Shoal did warn me. She said, make sure you follow the signs and follow the GPS. You don't want to end up taking the wrong exit and wind up in Mexico. And here I thought I did exactly what I told her I won't do. Ooh, I'm picking some flowers up for my sister.